Howdy folks. Here to do a little review on the little Tassimo versus the Keurig machine. The uh, I've had this Tassimo unit for approximately eight years. This is, uh, of note, this is the Braun. Uh, this is the original Braun type design uh, as opposed to the more recent versions that were made by Bosch. I think the Braun is probably a superior unit. Seems I've had this eight years and I haven't had any coffee explode in my face. Um, I think probably the Braun took this little uh, spring-loaded capsule thing out of theirs. The Bosch did. Uh, something They changed something in the design because I've been using this machine many years trouble-free. And as you can tell, it's this machine is basically a copycat to this type of design. Um, certain things I like and dislike about both of the mach the uh, machines. The the Tassimo takes uh, a T disc, and the T discs look like this here. They're as you can see, they're a flatter disc type design have a tubular shape with the coffee in it in there probably a higher pressure so the higher pressure is going to get you a little more flavor out of the beans in this coffee I would imagine but you really can't in, in, actual, in practical application to be honest with you after using both of these machines um, the quality drink quality is basically the same um, Tassimo might make a little bit superior, but in most cases you're not, you're not going to. If you had two cups side by side and you had a blindfold on, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, the little Tassimo, let me see. I don't think this is plugged in right now because uh, I have a toaster that goes here too. Sometimes I have the toaster plugged in. so I actually have both of these machines still in use. Um, the Keurig does brew a little bit quicker, I think. As you can see, it's got the removable cup. And this takes uh, a disc that's... Uh, it's not a disc, it's more like a cup. Cup design. Same thing, has the foil top for piercing. Same deal, you have a high pressure side and a low pressure side that runs the liquid through, the hot liquid through the powder and the mixture. Now one difference about these uh, Tosimo, the Tosimo uh, unit is uh, some of the uh, beverages are uh, uh, not powder. Now most of the most of the uh, Keurig um, cups or have a powder or powdered you know a flake called, excuse me powder or flake coffee and uh, let me check my camera has a powder or a flaked uh, substance in it never that I know of from the time I've been using it I've only had this a, a week or two uh, but it's all powders in the uh, Keurig now in the Tosimo some of your drinks like your cappuccino, what you do uh, is you brew the uh, you brew the uh, espresso espresso first, and then you brew the the uh, cappuccino creamer. And you'll notice the creamer is a liquid. And I don't believe any of the Keurig stuff is liquid; it's all powders. So, like for instance, the hot chocolate on the Tassimo, it's a syrup that gets uh, that's in your tea disc, and in this machine, it's a, a powder. Both makes I think uh, probably the uh, they have the Gro Grove Square hot cocoa that is okay in this. I think the other the cafe whatever they call it the cafe hmm, what's the name of this cafe escapes. Uh, the Cafe Escapes hot cocoa, I think, is a little weak. 
I don't think it's very good. But uh, if you stick with the Grove Stand hot chocolate, you're okay on the powdered hot chocolate. This one has a syrup for the hot chocolate. Another difference between these two machines, um, so this one here, you may brew two different discs into one cup. This one here, everything you do is pretty much in one, is one syrup, you know, one of these tea, one of these cups. Um, so that's one of the differences that, in theory, this thing here has a, uh, inside of here, this has an optical scanner, just like at the uh, grocery store. And on these T-discs, you'll see the barcode. And that scanner reads the barcode, and that's supposed to tell it the temperature of the water and how much water and all that kind of stuff. That's in theory. Uh, in practice, you know, there isn't that much difference in the way it brews the stuff to even justify having the barcode. Um, most of the cups, like hot cocoa or whatever, you'll find these things making about half a cup. They're not a huge serving. And if you try to stretch it with the bigger cup uh, in this one, now in the Tassimo you don't have the option. It brews it all automatically. You can't do select a large or small cup. So I do believe this one brews a little bit quicker than this. Uh, but this one has no on off switch. This has an on off switch. You just uh, put the T-disc in and when you depress the compression lever that uh, it closes down on the T-disc and punctures, that starts the heating element. And in this one here, you can have it kind of preheated and go about your business. But either way, they're, they're very similar. Have a pretty similar water capacity. The T-discs are a little harder to come by. Um, and uh, they, they work out really, on average, a little bit more expensive. Uh, with, with the Tassimo brand than this brand um, because the reason why is uh, the you usually like the specialty drinks like hot cocoa you get eight servings in a package with this and uh, it has dual no it doesn't not in the hot cocoa but uh, you get eight servings with your specialty drinks uh, for around seven or eight fifty and you get double the amount. Usually you get 16 servings with the Keurig version for $11. So it actually works out cheaper. Now, the thing that is cheaper on the Tassimo is the coffee. Because they have a little uh, less expensive brand of coffee available, they have uh, several of the Max, or, uh, yeah, Maxwell, Health, House, uh, Maxwell House coffees. And they're less expensive because they come... Uh, 16 servings of the coffee for this one is around 650 at Walmart and you're gonna pay more you're gonna pay quite a bit more for the coffee usually the coffees the higher quality now you, you can also get the higher quality coffees in this and it's a little bit more expensive than 650 but it still will work out a little bit cheaper with coffee on the Tassimo the specialty drinks are cheaper on the Keurig like hot cocoa and uh, Kai tea, the Kai Latte. These machines both have a Kai Latte. I think this Kai Latte is maybe just a little bit better. Not not really discernible. Not enough to justify the extra cost because the Kai Latte is about $10 and you only get 8 servings. For $11 you get 16 servings of the Kai Latte in the Keurig. Um, let's see. That's basically uh, the other differences. You'll notice the serving size, the cup that'll fit in here uh, in a standard cup. You'll find even with a standard cup like this, beautiful Harley Davidson mug. <laughs> oh baby, oh baby. Gets me excited just handling this Harley Davidson cup. Anyway, you'll see you try to put it in here. Oops. It won't, well, it would fit if you want to smash it in there and break the unit. But you can take this uh, little removable thing out, and that will give you this size, but as far as a travel mug, it won't fit. Uh, or like an iced coffee or iced tea probably would not fit in this one. They also don't make a specialty iced drink for this. This is primarily hot drinks. Uh, it probably would work. Uh, you could make iced green tea with this, I think, except it needs to be a little stronger to compensate for the ice melting. 
So I don't know, you'd have to try it, but you know, whatever. Uh, this of course fits fine in here. This also has a removable base, like so. Um, this can, you can brew the larger cup or the smaller cup, which is just gonna, depending on what you're drinking, like the hot cocoa, I don't recommend doing the larger cup. It'll be too weak. In your coffees, uh, I like the Caribou brand coffee with that. Uh, and you can brew the larger cup and still have a deep, because I drink mine black, and it's a pretty decent cup of coffee. Uh, they both make really good drinks. Uh, I'd highly recommend either one of these machines. The uh, tea discs are a little harder to get, and uh, I, I think probably the future of the Tassimo is kind of up in the air right now because they did have one or two people that had a safety problem with the newer version of the Tassimo brewing machines. Um, now whether or not that's going to be a deal killer or not, I don't know, but that's one reason I picked up the Keurig. The, uh, after the incident where someone got burned because their Bosch, it was the Bosch version of this machine. Evidently, what can happen in this is this has a, this one thing that's different about this compared to this, because of that barcode in, re, that reads, and it does have different operating, uh, this one here is pretty much just hot water going through your stuff. Now this one, it will, at the end, it will put under really, it's higher pressure anyway because of the design of the T-disc. It's a smaller volume. And you can see it's designed to pressurize. It puts that coffee under more steam pressure. Uh, and basically at the end of the brewing, like it with the uh, cappuccino, this thing goes in a real high pressure mode, basically to create foam on top of the drink, which this machine does not do. But this will put a foam head on your cappuccinos and your lattes. But that high pressure phase, if that thing is in high pressure phase and it's creating foam, and you open this device while it's under high pressure, you could get a little splatter. I've never had anything that, uh, normally it just makes a little mess here. Um, this is, like I say, the Braun though, as opposed to the Bosch. And I think this spring here keeps the teacup, uh, you know, the tea disc, a little bit more uh, in place. It pr provides a, a better seal and more support around the tea disc. But you can get a little bit of sputter when you, if you open this before it's done. And like I say, at the very end of some of those specialty drinks, it goes into a real high pressure for like 10 or 15 seconds. It'll go into a real high pressure steam mode that creates a, a foam or, a, you know, kind of a foamy top on your drink. And that's what I think is happening, people. If you open this machine uh, or the Bosch machine before it's done brewing, you're not, uh, you're not doing yourself any favors there. Never had any safety issues with mine, but, but I, you know, that is a difference. Of course, I've never opened this one when it's brewing, so I don't really know. Um, I really don't know what the effect, but this does not have the high pressure steam phase at the very end. It does not have the electric eye here that reads the barcode. These do not have a barcode. So this is a simpler brewer in that regard. However, this is eight years old. It still works like a charm. Never had any trouble with it. Um, this, uh, this would be done heating. If I put a disc in here and closed it, it would immediately go to green. Um, anyway, don't really recommend one over the other. I do kind of don't like the fact that most coffee cups don't fit in this without taking this out. And I will say one drawback to this machine in the design of this machine, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little uh, indentation here. And that indentation is where water drains out. It has a, a rinse phase at the end of your brewing. It's meant to clean this, to uh, dilute whatever runoff might be in here. It's to dilute it so it doesn't smell or whatever. But the problem is, is it starts leaking. Uh, if you put in an espresso disc in a specialty drink, and then you put in a, the milk disc or the latte disc after that, this thing will leak fluid into this and it, makes a, it can make a mess, you know, and you gotta clean it every time. 
and it's there's, it fills up water. It wastes water out of your pure water reservoir. Really an unnecessary deal. Um, so I don't like that. But you'll tend to want to keep this in there so that it catches that water and you don't have to clean up afterwards. But when you do that, a regular size cup will not fit. So kind of a, a nuisance, basically. But both machines I would recommend. I don't know the future of the T-Discs. Uh, I did notice our Walmart did have uh, a restock. of. I thought they were going to quit shipping them there for a minute. The shelves at one of my Walmart cleared out of the T-Discs and it was empty. And I went to another Walmart that was also about empty, but I went up there today and they were restocked on about half of this stuff for the T for the Tassimo. So kind of up in the air on to, as to the supply of the T-Discs. I think you're going to be okay on this. I'm sure they can fix whatever problem there is with the design of that Bosch, Bosch machine. But So that's the two machines. I'd, I'd recommend both. Um, the cool rig is a little bit cheaper overall to operate, I think. Drink quality might be a little bit superior. Now this brawn is no longer available, I don't believe. Uh, but the price of the machines are comparable. I, this one was about $150, but it's eight, eight years ago. This was the platinum version of this one eight years ago. Been working fine though. Uh, the quality I've noticed uh, on YouTube, there's several videos about uh, quality issues with the Keurig brewers that don't work for one reason or another, or leak water. Haven't had, this is an eight year old machine, still works like when it was brand new. So you don't have that issue with that. Like I say though, the new ones are made by Bosch. They're not really the same exact design. They're very similar, but I don't think they have this spring-loaded cup for one thing. I don't know what other differences may exist, but um, that's basically the deal. Pretty comparable type machines. A little bit more selection of drinks available at this time for this machine. Also, the discs are a little easier to get. Walmart is the easiest place to get discs for both of these but you have a little more selection and a little more quantity on discs with this one. For some reason the Tassimo discs are a little slower coming in and a little less selection. But anyhow, that's going to end my review. I'm not going to even brew a cup because there are several videos showing how you brew a cup of coffee. <clears throat> uh, basically I'm not going to waste the discs to do it, but you just load the discs in close the unit down. This one you press this big button to brew. This one here you can select between small and large cup. Press the button and it will brew your very similar in design, very similar in operation. So there you go. That's the two units. I have both. They both operate. I am still still have discs for both. And uh, like I say, the coffee is a little cheaper on this one because of the Maxwell House brand available. They also have some high quality brands that are more comparable in cost to this one, but this does give you a lower cost per unit option with the coffee. The specialty drinks are a little cheaper on the Keurig. Maybe not quite as good a quality, but for the quality, the, I think the lower price uh, makes sense. So there you go. Keurig, Tassimo, single serve brewers. Hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you very much for watching.